Hi friends, in this video I'm gonna explain you, I mean I'm gonna inform you regarding circuit simulation and uh, one application regarding circuit simulation. Uh, yeah, like uh, you can observe, you can give input and uh, you can observe output waveforms, whatever you, whatever you do in labs, you can do all things here using your Android phone especially, you don't need to use your PC, uh, you can just use your Android phone. Mm. Just uh, search in Play Store. The app name is Proto. Yeah, Proto Circuit Simulator. Um, yeah, whatever the features uh, you can use in laptop, all features you can use using Android also. Uh, especially uh, in this case, using in this app. Mm, yeah, I, I've already downloaded, so I just opened that app. See, this is. Uh, my recent simulated simulated circuits uh, so yeah now I'm showing how exactly this works uh, to simulate new circuits you just need to yeah press simulate button and you can see this interface you just press on this plus button mm, yeah you can see the components available mm, see all uh, electronics and uh, digital components are available you can use all yeah it's a free 100 percent free only this app mm, yeah i'm i'm selecting one uh, one component uh, we'll select no uh, source yes it's source okay i selected this one uh, press on that place wherever you want and uh, just okay now you can give values mm, yeah press on this button Okay, now I'm pressing mm, give voltage how much you want. See, you can give till kV, 100 kV. You can give yeah, in electronic circuit, you usually don't use. Leave that. Mm, oh my god, yeah, yeah, leave that. Leave just press, leave that. And uh, again, you can, you can see here, press on this component, and uh, again, you can rotate this using this. And uh, you can observe waveform like uh, voltage. Uh, see, we are running already. To stop run, you just press on this button to run. You can this input source. I mean, this uh, minus. Stop this. Yeah, minus 1.8 volt too. Yeah, it's minus 1.8 volt. You can see here waveform, sine waveform. It is sine signal. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm now I'm directly going my last simulated circuit to explain uh, maximum within limited time. Yeah, seven. Now I'm explaining uh, inverting amplifier. It is op amp. Uh, yeah, you guys uh, will do this on details uh, lab. Mm, yeah, I'm giving. Uh, you can see uh, this inverting amplifier uh, because uh, here you can see. Uh, we are you are, we are giving input at invo uh, inverting terminal negative terminal uh, yeah now I'm showing uh, how to give um, I mean input and output waveforms then you can exactly understand how does it work so to do this you just press on this component whichever if you want to check in waveform this component just press on this component and uh, input and source i'm pressing on source we'll check how much uh, okay uh, we'll see voltage yeah i give five volt here you can vary here how much you want i okay, will give only five only summary yeah okay i give 5 volt mm, yeah similarly uh, yeah similarly after voltage uh, you can check frequency bias voltage offset everything you can check you can change frequency frequency okay we'll give 140 to leave that itself uh, now uh, i give feedback resistor 2 kilowatt you can check here and uh, input resistance 1 kilowatt 1 k one kilo ohm yeah then uh, i just uh, included one uh, bulb here to check output waveforms and connected the ground at last yeah we'll see we gave five volt input 
what what should happen actually uh, inverting amplifier inverting amplifier like i'm showing one minute see yeah see this this is exactly inverting amplifier we can see uh, input resistance 1 kilo ohm and uh, feedback resistance output should be 4.7 times of input in this circuit because we are giving 4.7 4.7 kilo ohm we connected 4.7 kilo ohm feedback resistor uh, okay i think uh, it's a uh, you got this point because output should be 4.7 times of input uh, waveform should be like this like uh, uh, sine wave uh, one volt peak to peak here inverted and amplified output you can see 4.7 times of input uh, we'll see now what happens in circuits mm, to go okay uh, now you guys can see here um, I'm, I showed you voltage run so to run the circuit you guys should press on this button okay uh, okay I'm done off. okay sorry I'm showing input waveform see 5 volt input waveform see output now uh, cancel this input see output voltage C 10 volt peak to peak because we took 2 kilo ohm feedback resistance and 1 kilo ohm uh, uh, input resistance RF by R minus 2 2 times input minus means uh, phase shift you can see inverted or C inverted and inverted means phase shift phase shifted and amplified output you can observe you can uh, similarly you can uh, you can observe you can uh, rig up every circuits yeah i think uh, this is uh, very helpful for you guys if you found this was helpful please subscribe and uh, give one like <laughs> thank you bye